Hello. So today we will be continuing the 100 baby challenge. We are now at part 12 of the series. Honestly, I'm really excited to just go in and play. So let's just start right away. Okay, so let's just catch up really quick. Carl and Byron are gone. Eliza and Donna are teenagers. Actually, both of them are on the verge of becoming A students. Only thing is, is that they need to work on their skills. So we can definitely do that. So Gabe and Fiona are dangerously close to becoming A students. This kind of smells like we're going to have for birthday parties today. And our two beautiful daughters, Elisa and Donna, might actually move out as well. We'll just have to see. What about you, Anne-Marie? Anne-Marie still has a lot of work to do. I don't think that's gonna happen. Okay, so let's get everything organized here. Let's get everyone on track and do their tasks. You know what? You're gonna come and play chess with your sister. Y'all are going to play together. Claire, thank you for suggesting I hang out with Penny Pizzazz. We had a spectacular time. Right on. Oh, she has a few things in her inventory here that we can sell for money. Oh, you're not doing very well, are you? I just started. I don't have UI cheats installed. I can't cheat her needs. Okay, well, I guess I actually have to take care of her. Lame. You are just playing on your own, doing your own thing. Oh, and you're working on your motor skills. It's perfect. That's exactly what you need to work on. Good girl. You and Marie. Oh, that's right. You're locked in your room. <laughs> okay, so play some shape. Oh, okay. Well, never mind that. Let's go to bed. Why are you not playing? Playing chess anymore. I don't care if you're tired or if you're bored or if you don't want to play, you're gonna play chess. Oh, can repair the thing. It's a brand new sink too. We just renovated the kitchen like last episode. Did we change the sink? You know what? We're gonna get a new one. We're gonna get a better one that doesn't break. Well, they all have like five points of reliability. Let's just get a new one. Maybe it'll take longer before it breaks. Who knows? Tomorrow, you, it's baby making time. Did we have any potential baby parent? Oh, that's right. There's Vanessa. Oh, there was also Kenta that we spoke to a few episodes ago when we met Marco that ditched us while we were talking to them. We could call back Kenta. Oh yeah, he's the kleptomaniac. Yeah, we can make a baby with the kleptomaniac. I don't see why not. Okay, you ate. Go pee. And then do do. You're doing extra credit work all on your own. Good boy. Good job. Oh, how's that? Oh, I forgot that we have a toddler to take care of. Oopsies. We really have to make some food. Yeah, I know she can be taken away. I know, I know, I know. But you know what? Get dressed. We're going out, mama. Did we decide yet on Vanessa or Kenta? I'm not sure. Let's go for a coffee, maybe? Wait, Kenta's an elder. If we try to make babies with him, maybe he'll die. It would be kind of unfortunate. But you know, is that my problem? I don't think so. It would be really unfortunate if he died, though. I mean, that's one way to go. Let's see. Okay, let's come and sit here together. Let's chit-chat. Let's talk. You know, let's just see if we'd be a good fit. I mean, we will be. No, don't confess attraction right away. That never goes well. Compliment his appearance. You know, let him know he looks good. Is there somewhere on these premises where they could make a baby? I would bring him back home, but that means we'd have to take care of the toddler. You know, it's all about thinking outside the box. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. I believe there is a bush that allows you to woohoo. Anything goes party bush. Even the leaves are shaped like hearts. Try for baby with Kenta. Come on, let's go. Right there in the bush. Oh, there's a whole bunch of people walking by. Okay, so Kenta, don't go anywhere. Let me just go check, see if you made babies. Eating for two. Okay, great. Awesome. Now we can go back home. Bye, Kenta. Wait, what's your deal? What goes up must come down. Right now, the sugar has left and the down is way down. I mean, it is kind of my fault I did feed you cake for breakfast. I mean, that's on me. Oh, the kids are back from school already? Oh my god, everything breaks in this game. Are you for real? Oh, look at that. She's just doing sit-ups and a puddle. You haven't even done your homework yet. Do your homework. Hi, baby. Do you want to come say hi? Say hi to everyone. You can't see her because she's dark. You can see her eyes. Are you going to play The Sims with me? I don't think she's going to want to stay on me for very long. Okay, go down now. You are really heavy. You need to learn portion control. This is the only room with a bath. Why do y'all have to come and pee while I need to give Amory a bath? Oh my god. Go pee somewhere else. Text emergency? I don't think I've ever seen that one before. I texted someone, but they didn't text back. And it's been like an hour. Should I text them again? <laughs> Oh, oh, Donna. Story of my life. Yeah, maybe they missed the first one. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, wait for them to respond. Text to mutual friend and have them poke? Ugh, these are all solid answers. I personally would be mortified if the person was ignoring me on purpose and then I would double text them and then feel like, you know, a not so smart person. 
Uh, wait for them to respond. That's the least embarrassing thing to do. Story of my life. Wait, this is Eliza. I called her Donna. But it doesn't matter. Fiona is going through phase. She's having a bit of a mean streak and feels like being more nasty to other sims. Is she? I don't really see that mood lit anywhere. And she's just straight up doing extra credit work. I don't know what you're talking about. She seems like she's doing fine. Okay, Anne-Marie, it is time to wake up. Do you need, how do you not need to potty? Did she just go and potty on her own at some point? I didn't notice. Aren't we supposed to have a maid? Come by and clean? What happened? Oh, grades are up, grades are up, grades are up. Huh, all four of these kids. I mean, sounds like we're having a party. Let's make a cake. Okay, let's start with Gabe. Come and blow out your candles. Okay, Gabe has aged. Oh, I just from here, I can see the haircut. Let's go ahead and randomize a tray. Materialistic. Whatever you want, baby boy. Pick a number between 1 and 14. A random number between 1 and 14 is 11. Nature. Pick a number between 1 and 8. A random number between 1 and 8 is 6. Country caretaker. That sounds lovely, Gabe. Alrighty, Rue, one done. Now it is... Fiona's turn. All right, now Fiona aged up. Let's go ahead and randomize her trait. Materialistic too. Pick a number between one and 14. A random number between one and 14 is five. Five. Family oriented, okay. Pick a number between one and four. A random number between one and four is one. Oh, she wants to have a big happy family. That's actually really sweet. Now our first baby girls are gonna be moving out. Yay, party! Okay, let's see. Proper, you go Donna. All right, let's randomize her trait. Active. Okay, I can kind of see that. That's cool with me. So we are going to move out Elisa and Donna into that apartment where Amir and uh, Byron and Carl live. At the end of the day, the only baby I was really, really attached to was baby Amir because he was our very first born. But now I'm just like... You know, just, we need a rotation. We need to get these kids out of here. I'm not that sad, quite honestly. So one thing that I am going to do really quickly is I'm going to go and cast and just fix Fiona and Gabe. Give them some little cute outfits. I'm not going to spend too much time on it. I'm just going to fix this situation right here. All right, so I'm pretty much done here uh, giving them makeovers. This is Fiona's everyday wear. This is her formal, her athletic, her sleep, her party, her swimwear, her hot weather outfit, and her cold weather outfit. I just went in and did some really just quick, really quick adjustments. For Gabe, this is his everyday look. Uh, we've got formal, active, sleep party, swim, hot and cold. You get the gist of it. And so they've been fixed. All right, so I think this is where we're going to stop for today. I think we made a lot of progress. We're missing a lot of our kids in the household. We're down to just four Sims in the household. We're missing four. Uh, but yeah, so we moved out Donna and Elisa. Gabe and Fiona aged up. That's a lot of exciting stuff. Thank you so much for being here today and for watching my videos. You have no idea how much I appreciate it and how much it means to me. So one thing that I would like to mention is that if you do want to support my channel and you don't really know how to do so, um, here's the thing that you could do. One thing that really helps is to share my content. I would really appreciate it if ever you wanted to send this to one of your friends who likes to play The Sims or, you know, someone who might enjoy this type of videos. You know, that would be actually super helpful. And, you know, for those of you that have been supporting my channel and for those of you that continue to support, I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. But yeah, like, share, comment, do what you gotta do. I am very well aware that I haven't been posting as much as usual on my YouTube channel. I am going to remedy that situation and I will be posting a lot more content coming up. And on that note, I'm going to wish you guys a very great rest of your day and please stay safe.